Hello and welcome to Tile Coach. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install a Flow Effects bonding flange drain into an existing three piece clamping ring style drain like this OD. This is a really popular drain. You find them at Home Depot. These three piece drains are used a lot. Uh, or you could also adapt it from this two piece cast iron OD drain that you see a lot in commercial work or hot mop shower pans that we do in here in California. Either way, what's really cool about these flow effects drains is in that every bonding flange, the adapter is included. You don't need to purchase any other pieces or kits. Everything you need to adapt one of these drains to an existing three-piece drain is right here in the box. Really cool. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just take the, the three-piece drain off. So this is, again, three pieces. The, the bottom flange is installed typically in concrete or screwed down to a wood subfloor. And what's nice is if this is already in here, you're not gonna have to bust up any concrete to get to the stub out below. We leave this bottom stage in. Again, so in every flow effects bonding flange drain that you buy, They have spacers, they have uh, the grate carrier, and, and the grates are sell, sold separately. That's one thing that you need to know. The grates are sold separately. This does have the holder that holds the grate, but not the grate itself. And here is the bonding flange and the adapter. We're just gonna set that aside. So the way I typically do this is I use the clamping ring from the drain as a template to drill the holes because these adapters don't come with any pre-drilled holes because there's several different styles you'll notice the OD you'll notice the three-piece drain has four holes you'll notice this cast iron drain only has three so obviously there's going to be different bolt patterns for each type of drain so I like to use the clamping ring here and I set it over the top and line it up and then I will mark my holes and then drill it out. I like to use blue tape because when you use a Sharpie, it's hard to see on the plastic, so I like to put blue tape on it. So now that I have the tape in place, I'll put it on and I'm gonna mark where the bolts go in this clamping ring and transfer it onto this adapter so that I get the correct marks. So you can see I use that as a template. Now I have holes marked. So I like to start with a pilot hole. I'm using a little like 3 seconds drill bit to start with the pilot hole to make sure I'm getting these in the right spot. Okay, so now that I got my pilot holes drilled, I can actually take take my tape off if I want to. So you can see I got my pilot holes drilled and it looks good. So out with the small drill bit. Now this drill bit is a 5 16 drill bit. I've found that's the correct size for the bolt holes. So a 5 16 drill bit, you're gonna wanna have one of these. Okay, so now that I have my pilot holes drilled, I'm going to use the 5 16 drill bit and make my holes. Okay, so now I have my 5 16 holes drilled. So I'll just clean up my... Uh, my bolts. So now I'm going to check my check my holes because it's really easy to be off. And if you're just off like a sixteenth, 
it makes a difference and you need to enlarge the holes, but I'm gonna go ahead and check this out and see if we're good. And I look pretty good. I do need to make a couple little adjustments on that side and that side. gonna work okay so now that I got my holes and they fit and they line up really nicely with the bolt pattern you notice that on the bottom of this adapter it has little nipples on it these little raised uh, bumps what those are intended for is when you put the sealant down on the bottom flange it makes it so that the sealant doesn't squeeze all the way out we want a good bead of sealant in between the bottom flange and this adapter. So that's what those little, little bumps on there are for. So for the sealant, what I'm using is a high quality silane based hybrid sealant like this. This is hydroband sealant. I like hydroband sealant. I like a uh, Curdy fix. Uh, Weedy has a good silane based sealant. Go board really doesn't matter. Uh, they're, they're all pretty good but I really like the Laticrete one and I really like Curdy Fix. I trust, I trust both of these. You could probably use silicone too if you wanted to, but I really like the hardness of this silane based sealant. So what, I'm gonna, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be really generous with this caulking on both the bottom flange here And I'm going to put a bead on both sides of the bolt pattern here just to make sure that I have a really nice bead of sealant and I really want that to, to hold in there. So I'm going to go ahead and line it up with my bolt pattern. Push it down. Now that I have this in place, I'll go ahead and put my screws in. Okay, so now that I got the adapter ring screwed down, you can see I have a really good bead of sealant there. Now it's time to go ahead and uh, put the bonding flange in. Uh, so I have a PVC, this is a PVC drain. So I'm gonna be using PVC glue. I am not using any primer because, well, because I don't want to. Some codes say you need to and some codes say you don't, as long as it's under four inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and coat the inside of the adapter here. And I'm gonna coat the outside of the bonding flange. Now it's just time to line it up and glue it down. And it seats in there really nicely. 
Last thing I'll do is I'll make sure that I am square off of my curb. 10 and 3 8, 10 and 3 8, we're good there. So there, there we have it. Converted to a flow effects. Uh, the drain, the great carrier will go in like this. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so there you have it. I've used this flow effects drain. I've adapted it to the bonding flange in about 15 minutes. Easy peasy, no busting out concrete, no redoing anything. So if you come into your job and you see one of these cheapo drains and you want a nice flow effects, it's really easy to adapt it over. And if you're looking for one of these flow effects drains, you can go to tilecoach.com. I'll put the link right here and you can find both the bonding flanges in ABS and PVC and the associated grades. We have brushed nickel, brushed black, brushed chrome, and we have some bronze. We use these flow effects drains on all our jobs, so I'm sure you'll like them too. So before I go, happy new year. Thanks for checking in. Watch the next video coming up. I'm sure you'll like that one too. And we'll see you on the next video.